Hi Therapy Together families, welcome back to week two. I hope that your first week went well and you are ready to start working on the content for week two. For week two, we will talk about typical hand development as well as the progression of hand development for children with unilateral cerebral palsy. And then we will focus on our upper limb domain, which is upper arm or reaches. So when you go and see your pediatrician, Typically, each well visit, you'll fill out some type of developmental milestone checklist, or they'll talk to you about how your child is developing. And these are some of the primary fine motor skills that you may see on those. And if you look at them, they're things like reaching, grasping, um, putting things in the hand, using a pincer grasp, which is like a thumb um, and index finger, being able to release items, have a controlled release of items. But what you primarily see here are unilateral or one-handed skills. Your child is probably doing all of these things pretty well with their dominant or their preferred hand. So when you think about a child that has involvement um, on one side, you really don't want to just think about development of one hand, but how are the two hands developing together? And so there's been a lot of work out of a group that's in Sweden, as well as a group that's in Australia that has developed assessments called the assisting hand assessment, the mini assisting hand assessment, and the hand assessment for infants. And so when you came in for your first session, we did either the assisting hand assessment or the mini assisting hand assessment, depending on your child's age. And that's the assessment where we pass toys back and forth, and we just see naturally how do they use their hands together in play. And so the two groups have done this assessment on thousands of children and we're able to come up with a hierarchy or progression of skill development that they typically see when working with children with unilateral cerebral palsy. So that's what you see here on this screen um, on the left-hand side. All of the tasks are two-handed and the hardest skill is at the top and then the, it works its way down to the easiest skill. So when we're developing goals and we're thinking about which level of the grading system are we going to work on this week? This is really the progression that's in Heather and I's head as we kind of help guide you through what to work on each week. But at the bottom, it just, it starts with hold. So that's when you place an item in the hand and it could even be that you're opening the hand to place an item in and your child is just maintaining hold of that. The next one is being able to make contact with objects. That's where we started last week. We just simply want them to recognize that um, the involved side is able to move and it can interact with the items that are in front of them. So contacting the item. The next one is grasping from an easy position. That's typically a grasp from you or from another person. When they don't have the constraint on, that's a grasp from their dominant hand. So you'll often see them pass items to the hand, but it doesn't require the involved side to orient to the object or change the, the pattern that their hand is using. So if this is their typical grasp, I'm going to orient the item so all they have to do is use a, an easy grasp pattern versus having it turned then they would have to orient and be able to grasp that's more difficult so grasp from an easy position remember when you're working with constraint is a grasp from you and you're helping them get that angle just right and you have the right size toy and the right weight of toy so that they can grasp it easily the next one is stabilizes by weight, so they can have an item up against their body or stabilize it on top of the table um, are ways they can stabilize by weight. How the amount that they use their arm, so how spontaneously it comes in to help and do activities. And then the next one you see is moves upper arm. That's our focus for week two. So really think about shoulder movements going up, externally rotating out, going out to the side, getting the hand out away from their body. Um, as they try to contact and interact with the items. And then it continues to go up. Um, typical grasp patterns, more difficult grasp patterns, ability to vary how they approach things, um, choosing to use the involved side, even with the constraint off. And then the most difficult one at the very top is by manual manipulation, where they're holding one an item with one hand, but doing something else, typically with the dominant hand. So we just wanted to share this progression with you. Um, it's something that your pediatrician probably won't have knowledge of or have access to. Um, that it's just a little bit different way to think about how your child will develop over time um, as they continue to work on hand skills. So here is our upper limb domain for this week, upper arm and reaches. 
We want big movements as much as possible away from the body. So level A, again, you will provide them with support or assistance. So if you're wanting them to come up, you may have the arm come up and hit the balloon or touch the bug um, or swipe something away. You're providing assistance or support. When you do hand over hand or provide support, just remember always use slow controlled movements. Um, we never want a jerky movement or something that is forceful, just nice and controlled that's helping them um, achieve the movement that you want them to achieve. For level B, you're moving the, eye, the arm with just a physical prompt. So use this hand, reach up and get it. Um, it can also be a verbal prompt. And then think about taking that item, touch here, and then you move it further away, you move it further away, or you move it out to the side or over their head or reaching out to the table um, over time as they're able to move their arm away from their body, um, hopefully throughout this week. And then level C is doing those big motions on their own initiative. And then if they have a grasp with their hand, those big motions and being able to pick something up or to point at something um, can be a little bit more difficult. And so that's what the level C group will be working on this week. But for this week, just think big items, things that come up over the head, pushing things down, knocking things over, um, reaching out to the side is the move movement that we're looking for this week.